All right, guys. Uh, thanks for bearing with us here while we got uh, everything ready for our presentation today. Uh, we're going to be going through uh, Metastock and some of the different built-in candlestick add-ons that we have available. Uh, first off, if you don't know who I am, I'm Bobby. I've been here at Metastock for over three years now uh, as an account executive, uh, helping people with the, you know different products and trading. Uh, as well. I've put all my contact details up on the page here in case anyone wants to come back and ask me any questions. You're welcome to send me an email uh, or give me a call or you can always come into our chat room and ask us questions about Metastock, our trading systems, anything you like. Um, before we get too deep into things here, I of course do have to go through our disclaimer as required. Uh, this demonstration, it's designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins and is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Uh, Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies or information provided in connection with the company. Um, so, you know, basically just saying trading can be a little bit risky. Uh, so do trade at your own risk and be careful. Uh, we are here to try and help you with your trading needs, though. You know, Metastock has been around now for over 37 years. If you guys aren't familiar with us, we're a technical analysis software company. Uh, we help traders for years and years uh, to do better technical analysis, to help with your charting, for scanning of the market, testing different trading strategies. Uh, we also provide uh, real-time service with alerts and commentary and news and things as well. Stocks and Commodities Magazine has rated us as the number one um, analysis software in our price category for over 25 years in a row now. Uh, so we've definitely been vetted. Uh, if you're a brand new user to Metastock, I recommend you look at um, down at the bottom of this page, it says metastock.com forward slash Bobby Hiller. That has kind of a general overview of all of our different power tools and it would also let you sign up for a trial to test out our services. Uh, so as I mentioned, we're mostly going to be going over uh, the different candlestick add-ons inside of Metastock today. And for those, you know, really fresh users, maybe you're not even sure what a candlestick is. And so I did want to kind of just bring that up first uh, in today's demonstration. A candlestick, it's just a type of price chart that you use to display the open, the high, the low, the close, and the volume of your data. And I put an example right here. Uh, if you look at my screen of like a bearish candlestick because you know that because it's filled in down here at the bottom that was the low price of this bar which could be a day or a minute you know whatever time frame you're on that's what the bar represents uh, so you have the low down here the high and then uh, because this is a bearish or a downward candlestick that's filled in you know the open was here and the close was here and then it's basically just showing the reverse over here for a bullish candlestick you still have open, high, low, close, and volume on there, and just uh, directed in different areas. And then um, a candlestick pattern is can be created with either a single candlestick or multiple candlesticks as well. And it can help show you different uh, price movements on a graph. And you know, there's many professional traders that have utilized candlesticks and the different patterns that they create um, just because market conditions, you know, they, they repeat themselves over and over again. And there's ways of identifying these different patterns uh, using candlesticks. And we're going to be covering several of those different ways and how different uh, professional traders have used systems like this uh, to be successful. The We do, of course, have just your regular candlesticks built right into Metastock along with eight other different types of, um, you know, charting price graphs you can use. Candlesticks are one of the most popular though, and we have some built-in patterns and scans and indicators for you to use. But then on top of the free material that's just already inside of Metastock, we do actually have three separate add-ons. One of those is by Greg Morris, and it's the Japanese candlestick pattern 
recognition system, and he's well known for specifically uh, utilizing the initial actual true Japanese candle patterns because there's a lot more like Western uh, type style of candlestick patterns and things nowadays. Uh, but so Morris is one we'll be covering. And then we also have Steve Nissan's Candlesticks Unleashed. This is the first candlestick add-on that we re released uh, several several years ago now, but it's still a proven system that uh, we do have many users uh, that utilize. And then actually our most popular candlestick add-on that we have has been Steve Bigelow's Candle Profit System. And just, uh, I think a year or two ago now, we did upgrade that to a version 2.0 that has even more uh, information and patterns and commentary than we previously had. And so we're gonna be covering just kind of a brief overview, uh, sorry, overview of all of these today and showing you kind of what they can do, how they were designed, and even ways where you can kind of combine them to help give you, you know, a more powerful trading system inside of Metastock. Uh, so now you have a whole wall of text here. I just borrowed this slide from one uh, Greg Morris himself created quite a while ago. But just looking here, you know, you know, off the bat that he has a serious um, reputation here. Uh, so he's the vice president of the chief technical analyst and chairman of investment committee for stadium money management LLC. I mean, he's been over uh, the head of, sorry, with billions of dollars he's been in charge of for trading different hedge funds. That's where I'm trying to get here. I don't want to read through the entire list, uh, so I'm jumping around just kind of on it. I can share these slides with you guys. If you want to come back and go through any of the information that we go through today, just let me know and I'd be happy to share it with you. But here is just a quick overview of some of the success and things that Greg Morris has done so that you know hey, not just anyone is creating these systems that we uh, offer. Um, so, the, so there are several different st statistics used in the Japanese candle pattern recognition system and it takes tons of different criteria uh, as far as the patterns, how they trade, you know, when they've traded and how successful they've been and it uh, takes all this into consideration automatically in the add-on, but I did just want to kind of cover some of the things that it looks for. It uh, checks historically, and he went over um, over like 7 million records of data he analyzed to get uh, these statis the statistics and the indicators that he created into the system. Um, and he, of course, is looking for things that have, you know, a higher net profit and a smaller uh, loss per trade to into consideration with his system and let's see what else I have here not only is he taking those into consideration but the add-on also uses unique uh, support and resistance levels that it's automatically going to draw on your charts this is actually from the add-on right here you can see it automatically put in these different support and resistance levels and oftentimes when you have a candlestick pattern that's coming right off of one of these support or resistance levels which you can see you know a lot of these are uh, that can mean that it's going to be a stronger uh, indication of price movement going one way or the one way or the other based off of the pattern itself. Uh, and again, that's automatically incorporated into the scoring system that actually comes uh, with his add-on. But I just wanted you guys to know it is, you know, taking a lot of stuff into consideration kind of in the background that you aren't necessarily going to see right away to give you all these indications. Also, a lot of the information that I'm going through today in these slides uh, and that you'll see when you're using the add-on itself inside of Metastock, you're gonna find a lot of that information in the manuals for all these two, which we do provide extensive manuals for all of them. And you know, if you guys were ever maybe wanting to look at some of that or had questions about it, let me know. I can sometimes even send these manuals over to you before you even order the system if you wanna review some things in it further uh, before confirming whether or not it's something you wanted to try out. Um, he also does use um, Morris here, stochastic uh, D percentages, and he's looking for reversal patterns uh, that are either above 20 or below 20 for their bearish and bullish indicators uh, for you to actually get a signal. So sometimes you might have a, a certain candlestick pattern, but the stochastics behind it uh, aren't meeting a certain criteria, so it's not actually showing a buy or sell signal on your chart, and that's because it is taking other stuff into consideration such as uh, the st stochastic movements. 
with uh, JCPR, I, I kind of put through a list of some of the different things that it includes. It has uh, specific indicators that you can just drop onto any chart. If you already have a template that you're using or a trading system that you have and you just want to add some additional indicators onto it, there's three of them built into JCPR that you could uh, utilize. It does also have multiple different explorations with it as well, where you can scan searching for uh, reversal patterns or uh, a reversal pattern that has a next day confirmation on it as well. So you can kind of use this reversal pattern scan to search for you know, setups that are coming up, up. And then if you wanna get confirmation on that setup before entering a trade, um, you can wait for it to get confirmed. And that same applies with the, uh, the reversal patterns too and the filters. And there are some different filters you can apply to these different patterns. It is covered um, when you're looking at the exploration or inside of Metastock. I'll, I'll get to that here in just a moment. It does also include an expert advisor that you can attach to your charts that'll give you, you know, a lot of the signals on your chart uh, without like uh, having to apply the full templates if you didn't want to. But it does also include two templates, one with just really simple, clean charts with your indicators, and then one that has multiple different filters applied on there uh, as well. And I do want to kind of just jump in and show you inside of Metastock uh, a little bit on these and how they all work. Uh, I, I was actually even playing around earlier and, and created uh, a template that's gonna open up all three add-ons at the same time whenever you uh, go into a security, but because we haven't really covered everything right away, um, let's just look at the one that I have uh, JCPR on. Uh, so here you can see it. It does, I applied a different uh, support and resistance level to it. Let me make sure I have an expert that I want on there, perfect. Um, and so you can see with his system, not only do you get uh, different buy and sell arrows on here telling you what the different pattern is that showed up, uh, you also get a bullish and bearish like ribbon that's gonna come with the system indicating different things. And then also, as I was kind of explaining in your explore tab, and that's where you run a scan to search for different buy and sell criteria or to search for the different candlestick patterns. Um, you can come in here and look at some of the different filters that are applied to it at just by simply scrolling over it and seeing it. And that same applies for some of the other systems we'll be covering, like CPS. Its, it's scans can often have several indicators included in it. So I'm getting ahead of myself maybe a little bit, uh, but that's the reason that it has the longer descriptions here for them. And then the same thing with Nissan's Candlestick Unleashed as well. And we are going to be jumping uh, a little deeper into the explorations and, and how to run different scans with this a little bit later. But I did want to kind of run through at least uh, an, a quick overview of the different trading systems before we start getting really in-depth into Metastock uh, itself here. So in order to do that, let's jump back into our slide uh, and get through the other trading systems. So. Uh, Steve Bigelow, he's the creator of that candle profit system, and as I mentioned, it's on version 2.0 now, and he has tens of thousands of followers that uh, have been learning from him and following his trading advice and reading his books, which, by the way, all of these people, uh, Bigelow, Greg Morris, Nissan, they all have uh, several books that I actually highly recommend, especially if you end up ordering one of their trading systems. Most of these trading systems are based off the exact information that's in their books so you'll you can get an even better understanding i mean we don't profit or anything like that off of these books but i think knowledge is power and if you're following a certain trading system created by someone um you know it's really good to know their reasoning behind uh everything and you can find that in their books most of the time um, so one thing about Bigelow's product that I really like is that he uses a lot of uh, multi-day patterns. The JCPR system, that, that's a, a faster trading system, I would say. You can get more uh, signals more quickly, and Steve Bigelow's, it'll have a lot of multi-day patterns. So I actually like to run a lot of my scans uh, for CPS, and then I'll run confirmation candlestick patterns from JCPR and use Morris's uh, scoring system as well, which we'll get into more later uh, to really confirm my trades. Uh, with the CPS 2.0 system, this one comes with six explorations. So 
uh, one expert advisor. It has three different templates. He uses one for like uh, stocks and equities, things of that nature. But he also, with version 2.0, released a different template that you can use if you're a futures trader. And uh, he also has over 36 different patterns here and a more a clean template too. Uh, the patterns that CPS will look for uh, initially, we had mostly these multi-day patterns, and the way this is kind of broken up too, if you see price patterns, you can run an exploration for this, and it's going to give you a result of all of these price patterns down here. And then same with the Doji Dynamite, the power signals, the J-hook, and then we've added in now even more single, sorry, single day patterns, which I've listed here as well. Uh, and if you guys go to our website, metastock.com, I want you all to know that you can uh, click on the products on the left hand side and navigate to add-ons and you can find all the different trading systems that we offer there including product pages uh, for all the systems we're talking about today to get even more details and we also have several videos uh, for most of our systems too not all of them uh, like nissan's we came out with that you know so long ago that uh, we weren't really making videos back then so you're not going to find a lot on that that's partly why i also wanted to cover it today but just so you guys know feel free to visit metastock.com to get more information on like our trials or the different trading systems and add-ons uh, as well as to like come into our chat or ask us questions and things and I, I was kind of covering this on that last slide saying hey these are the different explorations and when you run one of these scans it's going to give you a list of results that you can then filter that'll have the multiple different uh, candlestick patterns under each scan. Uh, also, I really like the commentary that comes with Bigelow's system too. All of these add-ons do come with uh, expert commentary on your charts. They're each kind of laid out a little bit differently. Uh, Bigelow is going to tell you about the candlestick pattern uh, in most of his commentary it'll tell you what just showed up and what it means moving forward like if it's a bullish or bearish signal if you know he definitely recommends uh, taking a big trade on it or if it's something you might want to be a little more reserved on if you're going to trade it what i really like to do is like i kind of mentioned earlier is combine multiple systems give myself confirmation if multiple candlestick you know patterns are all saying the same thing like hey this is a buy signal and it matches your trend as well. You almost always want to confirm a market trend with your systems before, you know, if if the S&P 500, <coughs> sorry, or like the, the NASDAQ or something, if they're showing a downward trend, but then you find a single security within it that maybe does have like a buy signal, you know, really overall market trend is downward, I wouldn't take a long signal uh, in, in such a situation. And there's actually things inside of these add-ons specifically like uh, Nissan, he has a system that he recommends you first run to give you overall market sentiment. Um, he has an exploration for it, in fact, so that you know whether you're actually gonna be going in and scanning for uh, buys or sells. Uh, so something to keep in mind, all these do have this commentary. We'll jump into a little bit of it too. One I did want to show you, I meant to do earlier actually, is show you uh, Greg Morris's commentary and his ranking and scoring system. Uh, I guess I actually left a note to, to get into that now. So maybe, maybe I'll show you uh, some of the different commentary here. Um, with a lot of these systems, sometimes, you know, they're working off different uh, support and resistance <coughs> or trend lines. So, commentary can change on the next day. So Morris, you see uh, here, we're getting some basic commentary on, I'm not even sure if we're on today, let's, let's jump up to today, where it's giving you different support and resistance levels for a system, but there's no, uh, you know, buy or sell arrow here, I guess. So you're not getting uh, more details on an actual pattern. If we were to jump on to a pattern, it gives a little more information, but because trend uh, could be different currently, uh, altered when you're getting uh, more up here. It's not showing a scoring system for, this applies to Greg Morris's uh, as well as Nissan's uh, Candlestick Unleashed. To get the full commentary for these trading systems, you have to be looking at like today's bar, the last bar, so that it's using the proper uh, trend and momentum off the historical data uh, to give you numbers and that could change you know the next day if the market went way up or went way down that might 
change what it would say for the previous bar. So that's the reason it works like that. I did uh, run some scans earlier today, just using these systems on the local data on here. Uh, I don't know what all of these are. I'm gonna pull one up just so that we can look at one that has like a buy signal today. Uh, and this one here, you can see I pulled up the JCPR reversal patterns. Uh, not even sure what security this is, but let's uh, just jump into it so I can show you that updated commentary that'll be on this system. All right, there we go. So now that uh, I actually have a buy signal today utilizing this, uh, I'm getting extra commentary here from him. <coughs> and he uses this really unique scoring system where you can get a score based off the support and resistance levels uh, that the system is using. And let's actually even put these on here. Uh, so you can kind of see some of these uh, levels that it has on here. And because this signal is actually being created right on uh, one of these support levels, uh, that's going to give it a higher score. So you can see over here, it, this has a score of 25 out of 25 on the support and resistance. So that's really high. And then uh, out of some of the different filtered criteria it takes, it's ranking this uh, pattern uh, with a 10. But notice here that the maximum score it could have received is a 40. So that's actually uh, kind of a low score uh, for the different filtered criteria you can apply to this. And you can go in and view that stuff and, and kind of change it around. Uh, then it also has different criteria like based off of volume this gets a score of 10 out of 15 and some other statistics three out of 15 and, and the breakdown five out of five uh, overall what this pattern is showing is actually a 53 percent chance of success on this so that's actually really low and that's good that it's giving us this signal um, you know, really probably that's not something you would want to trade. You're getting a specific candlestick pattern, and so it's identifying that for you. But utilizing this scoring system, you know, it's really easy to tell that, hey, maybe this isn't the best trade. Plus, you can see, you know, also down here on the ribbon, it's saying this is a, a bearish system. So probably not a trade you'd want to take. I just wanted to jump in to show you that you get that additional information, and, uh, you know, you can when you do run an exploration too, I guess we can even kind of pull these JCPR explorations back up. So let's pull up the report for it. I can go in here and I can rank by score if I wanted to. So say I wanted to look at, uh, <clears throat> or if I did rank by score, this is saying it has a, a cell system based off the reversal patterns. I'm getting a cell signal today with a score of 94. So that's actually really high. Let's go ahead and open this one up real quick just to get an idea of what that uh, one might look at, or look like, sorry. And then uh, also I'd like to know, I up here too, I do have actually the expert advisor for like Bigelow system popped in here too. And you can see this one also has a red arrow. It hasn't quite signaled necessarily a cell system on it yet, um, which you can see from the commentary here, but there's you know, a really good chance it's gonna have one on like the next day or something. Uh, but it is lining up saying like, hey, this is red. I, I don't have a system applied in here. Maybe let's let's attach, uh, well, that's because it's bullish. I'd actually, I'd need to run a scan before I apply the expert, which the specific expert advisor for Nissan's Candlestick Unleashed. So we're just gonna stick back over here. Uh, again though, so jumping in on the Greg Morris system, with the scoring, now it shows you uh, with this system, you know, I'm getting that 94% uh, score or success chance uh, on this system. Uh, and this is why, this is the different criteria. These are where your support and resistance levels are at. Uh, you can also click right here to get more information on the patterns. And it opens up a web page. Uh, that'll give you additional commentary on the specific pattern that you have for this day. So this one says we have a Harimi pattern and it's made up of the opposite arrangement of days as the engulfing pattern. This is uh, Harimi is a Japanese word for pregnant or body within. You will find that in most instance, instances, the real bodies in the Harimi are opposite in color, also like the engulfing pattern. I mean, it's just going through all the statistics on the patterns and sorry if my pronunciation is bad on any of this 
feel free to uh, send me an email and tell me I'm doing it wrong <laughs> if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, and it, t it has other information here too that you can sometimes get some based off the different signals and things that you pull up, you're gonna get different commentary on there, but because there's already a lot of information with the JCPR commentary, he didn't wanna have all the wording in here as well, so it lets you open up uh, the additional wording to get pattern information and commentary. But if you're already very familiar with candlestick patterns, you know, you might not need that commentary and this is all you wanna see here. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I guess we were just going through, uh, you know, the candle profit system. And this one works the same too uh, with its reports. So I just uh, opened up the report that I ran earlier today. And just, I guess, so we're all on the same page here. Um, what I did before our, our presentation today is I just went in and I took all the candlestick pattern uh, systems and I checked them and the JCPR systems as well as our Nissan's Candlestick Unleashed and I ran an exploration just on a list of uh, local data that was already in here from our last presentation. I did update that data to today. I ran it on like the S&P 500 as well as I did all the uh, optionable stocks that are in a local list. So about you know, probably around 4,500 securities or so I ran this scan on for, uh, it was today. You can see when we actually pull up the reports from these and it, and it normally just takes a few minutes to run a scan, but because we were covering three add-ons and you know, a dozen different explorations today, I just wanted to make sure they were already on there. Um, and oftentimes too, oh, I might've opened up an old one. Yeah. And sometimes you won't get any results with your with your scans too. Oh, sorry, I didn't even open up, <coughs> excuse me, the right one there. Uh, so yeah, let's pull up another report. So it tells you when it was ran. This was ran, you know, at uh, 1230 today. So just a couple hours ago. These are the list of results here on like CPS when I run price patterns. Uh, this one's gonna tell me, hey, these are all the securities that have a fry pan. Uh, these are all the securities, if they have a one on it that had that hit these different indicators and inside of the manual oops inside of the manual for uh, cps you'll get information on all these different candlestick patterns what they mean what to look out for if you're like me you're probably going to end up developing favorites uh like i know a lot of people love like the j-hook pattern and when you actually get that it's a far more rare pattern uh you, it often has really high results and so you know you're obviously well, not obviously, you're most likely not going to be running, uh, you know, looking for 50 different indicators every single day on every single security. Eventually, you're going to find the system that works right for you. You might find a certain trend system that you like to use, and then you have specific candlestick patterns that uh, you like to use as your confirmations as long as your trend indicator is saying, hey, go long, and you have a, a bullish candlestick pattern. So you can combine these things create your favorites. You can, uh, when you have something in here, you can come in and edit this stuff. Uh, so say you just wanted to search for <coughs> the ones with dumplings, you can select just the ones with dumplings and you could open them up uh, inside of our quote center and look at the, you know, the pricing, the open, high, low, close and volume. From there, you can open them up into a chart uh, to do a different analysis on them that way. Also, uh, when you're doing these different uh, scans and things, Another thing you can do is uh, choose your favorite CPS scan and your favorite JCPR scan. Uh, and then when you're running your exploration, you can tell it to use the results from the preceding exploration. So that means only, say when I run for the J-hook patterns, only uh, securities that are giving me a, a, a positive J-hook pattern. I want to also know if they're giving me JCPR's reversal pattern at the same time. And that's what uh, would happen if I just selected those two and had uh, them run with that. It'll give me the results that just match both. So it makes it really easy to combine different systems and to narrow down your results page. If you're uh, using multiple explorations and, and running your list off results, you can also come in here and you know when you have all these selected, click save list and then save this as, uh, you know, today's dumpling results and then easily work off of that anywhere else inside of Metastock, inside of your chart, your quote center, or set it up to run another scan against that same list. <coughs> so uh, 
just trying to share that there's you really can combine multiple different things and strategies to to help find what works best for you uh, is what I'm really trying to get out here. Uh, next, let's go ahead and uh, touch in on the last trading system, and then we'll go through Metastock a bit more. And of course, uh, if you guys ever have any questions, uh, feel free to type that in and we can answer those. It looks like we might have had some uh, coming through already. So someone asked if there's a mechanism to get commentary in a document uh, for study prior to encountering it on a chart. Uh, so to answer that, um, in the manuals that come with these different trading systems, <coughs> almost all the different manuals are gonna tell you what the different patterns are. Or if you're looking at like a list of indicators or the explorations, they'll often tell you too. But what I would direct you to in regards to like a document for something like that would be to review the manuals uh, to learn about the different patterns. Um, and then when you actually get them on your chart, you know, you'll know what it means or read through the, the extended commentary that we offer to learn about it right then and there. But yes, we do have um, some additional information that you'd be able to get that way. All right, and uh, to jump, let's jump back in here though. Uh, so the last system I wanted to touch on <coughs> today, the, you know, our initial candlestick system, and I believe that's right, that this was the very first one we released because I know it is so old, was by Steve Nissan. Uh, he's uh, also very well known in the Western world as one of the leading authorities on candlestick charts. Uh, he was, he's the president of candlecharts.com. I mean, he's been a teacher, an advisor, uh, a private trader, a professional trader uh, all over the world. I mean, he definitely knows his stuff. Uh, and he created this system quite a while ago, but um, you know, with it, it, it's a proven technique. The markets have you know, consistently proven that they're going to trade very similarly year over year. Uh, and so even though this is a really old system, uh, it, it's still gonna work great. And I think especially this is one that I would wanna combine with the others uh, to really give you um, strong signals. When it was released, uh, Stocks and Commodities Magazine uh, gave it a, a bunch of rewards. You can see some of the dates as a finalist uh, for their Reader's Choice Award multiple times. Um, as well as a semi-finalist runner-up uh, and, and has been mentioned multiple times as well. Uh, so that's kind of some criteria on it. Uh, Nissan kind of wrote this here saying, oh, you know, one of the best, best ways to describe it is um, to say that it is not a toolbox of Japanese candlestick tools, but it's a trading system. Uh, it's pure and simple. It's going to, you know, basically tell you exactly when to get into a trade, when to get out, where to have your, you know, your stop limits um, and stop losses at and, and things of that nature. It's a, it's an exact system. It's not, uh, it does basically everything for you to give you these indicators. Uh, and it uses, you know, primary just candlestick patterns and different trading rules that Nissan has developed over the years to give you all of that. Uh, with it, it's going to come with three different explorations inside of Metastock for you to use, as well as nine expert advisors uh, and two custom indicators as well for you to apply to any of your charts. And then the way that these explorations work, uh, like you have the Nissan's Candlesticks Unleashed Bull, which is going to search for, you know, bullish uh, patterns and things of that nature. And then you have the reverse, the NCU bear exploration that will give you the, all the bearish signals. Uh, and then the third exploration, it, he calls it his watch list maker and it's set to, uh, you'll run the NCU watch list maker and it'll basically tell you if the market is, uh, you know, positive or negative currently. And then you'll know after running that watch list maker, if you're going to be searching for bullish or bearish signals. Once you've ran your exploration to get your, say, bullish or bearish signals uh, across, <coughs> sorry, your watch list uh, that it created, uh, and this watch list, it does also filter out securities it recommends not trading with it, and um, there, it has a system, too, that you can apply to the S&P 500 it recommends to give you, as well, the bullish and bearish uh, signals, just so you guys know. Uh, but once you've actually run that exploration, 
it, you, you can sort and rank by the different uh, patterns within the exploration. And if you have a hit for those systems, uh, I would save, you know, that maybe as a list of, hey, these are, you know, the, the bullish patterns uh, under this one. And then you apply that specific expert advisor. There's an expert advisor for each pattern. And when you're on a chart for NCU, you want to be looking at a chart that has the exploration confirmed, like it is under this certain market condition or pattern. So I'm going to apply that specific expert to my chart. And then you would kind of proceed from there. The manual does go over it, but uh, with the system, it gets it gets a little bit <coughs> confusing, I guess. I've had sometimes people order it and they're wondering if they're doing something wrong. And, and no, not necessarily, but I know like with the commentary on NCU, uh, it's just gonna basically say uh, error incorrect if, if you're say, have the wrong expert advisor attached when there's a different pattern that's signaling on your chart. And it's not that it's not working, it's just telling you you have the wrong expert attached. So you always want to first, especially so with the NCU, make sure that you run your scan and you actually have a list of results. Uh, and so, yeah, I did actually run my results earlier. And one thing I'll say is the NCU, it is very picky on its signals. Um, like, let's see, I ran that, that bullish scan today again across about uh, 4,700 or so securities, as you can see here. And I only got four signals for the bearish market off of that today. You know, and that's about normal with NCU, about what you're going to get. But when you have one of those hit, uh, you know that there's a really good chance uh, that it's probably going to be a good trade for you. It doesn't, you know, give you a list of the securities that have maybe a 50% chance, uh, you know, such as JCPR would. It just leaves those out and you only get a limited amount of hits every now and then. It's best used as a swing trading system for NCU. Uh, but then you can uh, see here, like, this one signaled on a hammer. So we would be able to open up this security, <coughs> which I've done here. And uh, so this has the JCPR on it and this has uh, CPS on it. So let's go up into this guy and go into my expert advisors and attach, we put the hammer on this one. So I know to apply his hammer and it might be hard for you guys to see, but you can see on the chart, like back here, we have this green arrow uh, signal, signaling like this is a, a bullish market right here. And then it gave us the actual pattern on here, which is when it's given me my results for my buy limit, uh, where I should sit, set, <coughs> excuse me, I had a frog in my throat here. And now it's producing results for a buy limit, uh, where to set my sell stop at, where to set my sell limit at, uh, and I know I can get into this trade because I, I have it bullish and it's giving me these exact parameters. And then as the days go on, I would actually be able to follow along in the commentary here on the next days and it'll update my sell uh, stop and my sell stop limits and things of that nature so I can continue uh, to uh, follow along with this and get out of the trade at the proper time. So that's how uh, that one works. And yeah, you will get less signals with it, but they seem to work pretty well <laughs> when you do get them. I, I did want to get that on video though, because I know people in the past, you know, they might have a different expert on here or they're running a scan and they're not getting any results. You know, it's normal if you don't have a large list of securities to not get results with this because he wanted, he had very specific criteria he created to actually be able to give you these buy and sell signals. And you can go through all that information inside of the manual the manual for it too was created uh, with older versions of Metastock. So we have kind of enhanced things inside of Metastock that make the add-on easier to use. Like you don't have to go in and actually download data to be able to run a scan and to set up a watch list and everything with the NCU, which it'll recommend doing that in the manual. But uh, as you know, with our like versions uh, 17 that we're on nowadays, like you can very easily create favorite lists and create your own watch lists and things of that nature and be able to jump in uh, to the different uh, systems that way. Uh, the, the biggest thing with these, yeah, is to just follow along with uh, the manuals and the training on them. And then uh, another thing to kind of touch on, I guess, in, in combination of all of it, you guys are all welcome to do kind of what I've done here. As you see, whenever I open up a signal, I had gone in and I created uh, a custom template that whenever I open up a symbol, it opens up 
an expert advisor for Nissan's CPS and JCPR. So I can kind of look at everything at once. Maybe you have your own fourth system you want to throw in too. You can do that as well. Or, uh, you know, say I'm on this uh, chart of JCPRs, you can like attach or let's say apply his template to your trading system. So we'll come in here to apply template and let's see. So he has two, his clean or his filtered one that has a, a bit more indicators on it. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up this filtered one for you guys to see that draws in like the support and resistance levels and has the bullish and bearish and everything on here. Maybe this is how you prefer to look at your charts. Uh, but um, then on top of it, I can go in and I could add in some of the different indicators that are included with the NCU system uh, as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's uh, so many different indicators and systems on this computer because we use it often as our demo. Uh, you can save, you know, filter some of these out, get rid of ones that you don't want, uh, create favorite lists and things too. So you guys will be able to move through things probably a lot faster uh, than me. So then, yeah, let's say I want to add in uh, my ad adaptic trend index from the NCU system onto this chart. I can go in, choose the different periods for it, uh, and I can apply that to my chart as well, uh, which came down here rather small, but I did put it down there on the bottom. Maybe I could have put it in a better spot. And then same thing, I could go in and uh, I, so I do have the template from JCPR put on here, but I could still go in and now apply like the expert advisor if I wanted to mix it up a li little bit from CPS and just look for multiple things from the multiple different trading systems to all be matching up uh, on my one chart. So really, however you guys like to lay things out, Metastock's going to allow you to do that. And if you maybe don't know how to do something or you have questions about it, uh, reach out to us here. We have our support team. The largest department we have here is uh, for technical support, and it's just full of people that are waiting around to help you guys out. If you ever have questions, big or small, inside of Metastock, we can even um, do things such as like screen share with you and do a full hands-on demonstration in the software to teach you how to do different things or maybe help you create your own custom uh, templates or multi-chart layouts uh, so that you guys can get all this set up. Now, uh, if you look in here, I still have my support and resistance levels that were drawn uh, from JCPR, but I put uh, Bigelow's expert on here. So now I'm looking at his different signals that he has trigger in here. <coughs> Plus I have my stochastic oscillator that uh, and directional movement uh, indicators up here at the top from JCPR. And, and you can use all these uh, to get things to line up to give you a stronger more valid trading system uh, inside of Metastock. And definitely if, if you guys have other questions too or specific things that you want me to run through, uh, do let me know. I think I might go in and, and show some more of these <coughs> exploration results because it looks like we still have about uh, 10 or so minutes here. And again, so I did actually today add these to my favorite list. We have quite a few trading systems in here but you guys will be able to do this. Say you only like trading, um, you know, CPS's, you like his Doji Dynamite and you love when it's able to match up with a specific reversal pattern from JCPR. Uh, you guys can just select those two. And then, uh, you know, I haven't done this previously, so I don't know the exact results that we'll get, but just to kind of show you again how this works, we'll run it on the S&P 500 uh, and see if, uh, the Doji Dynamite matches up with any JCPR's reversal patterns. And we're going to use the results from the preceding exploration to do this. And I just hit start exploration here, and now it's searching for a Doji Dynamite. And if that shows up, I got 12 results for that. And then it, so this second scan here that just ran for the reversal patterns, it only did this second scan off of these 12 results so that I know right here H&R block right now is giving me a buy signal on a reversal pattern from JCPR and it also has a doji dynamite um, in it as well. So let's see H&R block, if I match that up, uh, you can see that it hit right here as well uh, with the D sand pattern. 
And then, oops, let's actually go ahead and, and open that up and see how that looks <coughs> on my multiple chart layout that I have here. And I'm gonna close this one down because I didn't run the scan with NCU. Oh, I actually have multiple charts open here, so I'm just going to extend this one over uh, so that we can look at them both that gave this signal today. Uh, actually, this might not be the, the one that I meant to open up here. Let's take a look. I do have multiple exploration windows open. I should probably be, be closing these as we move along. Uh, let's see if we can get that back up here, though. Oops. I think it's actually going on to my other screen. Well, that's okay. We can, we can come in here and do this <clears throat> another way, actually. Let's just, oops. Let's jump back into the scan that I just ran. It has this H&R block. Make sure it's open. <coughs> All right, there we go, guys. Sorry about that. Um, and now I can look at it here and look at both of my charts for those two systems to see exactly what, uh, what these things are telling me. I can look at the commentary on it from CPS. It's saying, hey, you have a doji sandwich and this is a result of the consistent aspects of human nature. It provides an extremely high probability result uh, that the doji sandwich usually occurs after the initial reversal signal has been identified. The doji sandwich indicates more potential upsides. Traders looking to take advantage of this trade should look to target uh, resistance. And then you can get further commentary on that too uh, inside of the manual or coming down in here and it gives you links to like the candlestick forums. <laughs> where you can go to learn more too. And then if we look at it on JCPR down here, uh, it's going to tell me where my different support and resistance levels are from JCPR. So, uh, you know, let's actually even, oops. I'm going to, well, we'll leave it as is. I was going to apply the support and resistance levels that are included so you guys can see them, but we can actually see the score Greg Morris is giving us with support and resistance is actually really low on this. So this is Doji Sandwich up here was telling me, um, look for a good support or resistance level, and then you can use this to identify a, a bullish entry point. And we can see from <coughs> looking at my score on support and resistance, it, it's not at that mark yet. Um, there's still a really low percent chance of success on this. Uh, in regards to that, but you know that can change in the coming bars if you know it ends up hitting a good support and resistance level. It looks like right up here you can see there's a lot uh, of price right here on this level. So if this was to maybe break up just a little bit higher in the next coming days, that could signal a really powerful entry uh, for someone. You, you might want to look for you know a bullish ribbon down here or. Uh, of course, you can get more information too with, with CPS on like his template, or maybe we would go in and check the market conditions from Nissan's Candlestick Unleashed on this as well. And then you can just, uh, you know, have this in your watch list and look at it over the next couple of days and try and get that scoring system uh, to be higher, wait for it to pass through this resistance level so that it has, you know, that turns into support and it has support behind it, and then you know that's a buy. And that was just from one quick scan to kind of help do some analysis, but you can see how <coughs> these work off each other. They do give similar signals because they're use, utilizing candlesticks, uh, but they definitely utilize them in different ways and give you different answers where if you end up combining all of them, uh, you know, you can get a really strong trade. And, and of course, I always recommend using uh, your own systems that you're a fan of as well. Like maybe you'll also like to have the MACD uh, cross as well before you ever enter or exit your trades. And then you can use your own unique, you know, uh, trailing stops or stop losses or things of that nature, or, you know, use the recommended ones that'll come in the different commentary, say from like NCU uh, or the candle profit system. And it looks like 
you know, we are about to round things up here, guys. I, I think I have covered just about everything that I wanted to in regards to looking at Metastock and everything. I guess one last thing we should really touch on here is the pricing. Yeah, on my screen here, you guys can see the retail rates for all these different add-ons. Uh, JCPR, that's normally uh, $399. The Candle Profit System 2.0, our number one selling add-on uh, for over five years in a row now. That's priced at just $4.99 to get the full trading system. And then Nissan's Candlesticks Unleashed, uh, you know, with it not having as many signals and being older, it's priced at just $2.99, but still a, a solid trading system. This month, uh, February of 2020, we are running a very special uh, promotion where you can actually get a bundle of all three of these systems and save oh, hundreds of dollars, I guess. I can't give the exact pricing uh, over video just because we don't want to advertise it because then next month people are going to come and try and get the same deal. But we had to get permission from uh, the creators to be able to get some of these rates. So if you guys actually reach out to me, I can let you know about it, how to get some uh, free stuff as well with part of this bundle offer that we are doing, I can almost always get you different uh, promotions and things on our different trading systems, which like I said, you can find everything we have. Just go to metastock.com and then you can go to the products and the add-ons on the left-hand side. You'd be able to order all of these from our website at the retail rates, but we're doing a huge bundled deal where, like I said, I can save you hundreds. I, I can give you the exacts if you, re if you reach out. Sometimes people already own one of these trading systems and you're looking to add additional ones. That's another reason I can't just give the price right over a video, but uh, you could just send me a quick email to bobby.hiller at metastock.com and I'd be more than happy to send you, like say a copy of these slides along with the offer that we have going this month. Uh, or if you're a brand new user, I could help you up to get set up on a trial of our services uh, with either Metastock or uh, if you already own Metastock, as I mentioned, I can help get you guys set up uh, with these different trading systems. Happy to review them, happy to get more personal on them too. If you wanna tell me your trading system, I'll tell you what I think might work out best for you. Or of course, with this bundled deal that we have, um, I mean, you're looking at saving considerably on our, our triple threat candlestick promotion. So give me a call or send me an email. It's bobby.hiller at metastock.com or uh, international 801-506. 1001. I'll be back at my desk after about five or so minutes, I assume, uh, and I can answer any other questions you might have and go over some of these deals that we're doing. Uh, or, of course, you know, even at their retail rates that you see here, I mean, you can get a great return on your investment with these different trading systems. So if you're looking at this down the road, uh, you know, definitely things worth checking out. Uh, you can get more details on our website or just get in touch with me. Uh, I think that's probably going to wrap everything up uh, for today, guys. Thanks for letting me talk to you and kind of show you these different trading systems in Metastock. Uh, and I'll look forward to answering any questions you might send my way.